Good morning, Green Lambs. I hope you're all doing really well. This morning is Thursday, March 18th, 2021. Can you do it with repeat after me? Are you ready? Repeat after me. Today is Thursday, March 18th, 2021. Excellent. And if you want to stand up with me and we'll get our march on. March, march, march for march, 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 march for march. All right, you can have a seat. Good marching. This morning we're continuing to talk about colors and I have an excellent book called Comparing Colors. Inside my book, we'll hear all about all different kinds of colors. This is my cover page, and it has the title, Comparing Colors. Remember, I have a spine on my book and a back cover. Oh, what's on the back cover? Looks like a tiger, your favorite. Can, can you show me tiger? Who remembers tiger? Tiger. Good job. So, Comparing Colors, and we open up the front page. And here's our title page. It says Comparing Colors by Nancy Harris. Colors in nature. There are many colors in nature. These are some of the colors you see in nature. <gasps> what color is this? Blue. What about this one? Brown, not the tractor, I tricked you. How about this one? Green, and this cute little guy right here. Yes, black. Oh, here's some more colors in nature. We have orange, red, violet, white, and yellow. colors are things in nature? Are all things in nature one color? Hmm, look, there's a green frog on a green leaf. Are some things in nature many colors? Look at how many colors do you see on the tiger? I see orange and white and black. Plants are many colors. Plants even have many parts that are different colors. Some plants have leaves and some plants are red. Sorry, some leaves are red. Some leaves are yellow and some leaves are green and blue. They're not all the same. Plants have stems. And some stems, some stems are yellow. You see the yellow stem. Some stems are violet. And the mushrooms. And some stems are green and red. There you go, green and red. Some plants have flowers. Some flowers are red. Do you see the red ones? Some flowers are black. Those are tulips. And some flowers are blue and yellow right here. Ooh, animals. Animals are many colors. Animals have body coverings and some animals have feathers. What colors do you see on this bird right here? See some green and purple. What's this color? yellow and the head is red and down here on his neck black oh he's so many colors and even his feet are orange and his beak is orange and red some feathers are brown some feathers are green and white and some feathers are violet brown feathers on the hawk green and white on the duck, and violet on the hummingbird. Some animals have scales. Some scales are green. 
Some scales are white and some scales are blue, violet, and yellow. Look, the gecko has scales and the snake has scales and the fish has scales. Some animals have fur. Some fur is red, some fur is brown, and some fur is white and black. Which one is your favorite? Hmm, I like the panda too, although we did just learn about the woodchuck. He was pretty cool. A groundhog. Rocks. Rocks are many different colors, and I know you guys love rocks. Rocks are the coolest. Some rocks are red, some rocks are green, and some rocks are violet and white. Soil. Soil comes in many colors too. What colors do you see in this soil? Some red, maybe up here, some red and yellow and white and gray. Maybe even some black. Some soils are brown, some soils are white, and some soils are orange and yellow. Hmm, what have you learned? Things in nature are not always the same color. God blessed us with so many different colors and it's beautiful to see them all. We've also learned that some things in nature are one color, like the lion is here, and some things in nature are many colors, like this little toucan. Here's some pictures of some of the colors in nature that we've seen. This is called the picture glossary. A glossary is a list of different words, or in this case, pictures, that tells you more. In the back of the book, there's our favorite, Mr. Tiger. Oh, where did he go? Right there. All right, friends. Well, I have two really exciting projects for you to do today. The first one is have your mom and dad go online or have an older sibling or mom and dad draw out a chart. We're going on a color hunt, and I will link this to the lesson today. You can print this off so that you can go on a color hunt around your house, just like we did at school the other day. So you print off your color hunt. This one looks a little different, doesn't it? Um, up here is the color. What color is this? Yep, it says red, and it is the color red. And we have orange and yellow and green and blue and purple and pink and black and brown. And just like the other day when we did our color hunt, I want you to go hunting around your house this time, not around our playground. And I want you to take that red crayon and I want you to draw a picture of the red thing that you find when you find a red thing. If mom and dad are doing this hunt with you, show them what you found that's red. If a big sister or big brother is doing the hunt with you, show them what you found that's red. If you're doing it by yourself and you have to show mom and dad later, that's okay too. Don't worry about it, but print this off. It'll be so fun. Find all those colors, draw me a picture. You can even share it on the Facebook site if you're on Facebook now. Um, and then the other project that I have for you is, sounds messy, but it's not messy. It's a steam day. Usually we go down to steam today. So we're doing our steam project at home. All you need is a bottle of paint and one of these. Do you know what this is? It's a Ziploc bag. And you can have one this size. This is a gallon. If a quart works better for you or you don't have a lot of paint, that can work too. All you have to do is squirt, open this up, boop, squirt some paint in, and then close it up. Make sure an adult is with you for this because you want to make sure this is nice and sealed. This is called Mess Free finger paint. So you're going to finger paint on this bag. What I mean by that is you have, I don't have it, but you might have paint in this bag and you put it on your table. That's where it's going to work best. And you can draw lines in the paint. It'll be so cool. You'll really enjoy it. 
I hope you have fun doing our projects today, and I look forward to seeing pictures of them if you can post them on Facebook. I'll see you later. Bye!